following is a Shaw TV special presentation. You're about to watch the 90th anniversary of the Rotary Community Day Parade brought to you by Brookfield on Shaw TV. Hi, I'm Art Osborne, volunteering with the Rotary Club today, and here's Carolyn O'Connor, event manager with the Rotary Club. The 90th anniversary of the Rotary Community Day Parade, you hear the sounds right now, and we're going to be watching all kinds of interesting themes this year, and it's all about celebrate. Correct. This is a very special year for us, as you said, and when we were brainstorming ideas for the, for the theme, we found out about a whole slew of anniversaries that were happening Not the this least summer. of which is the cities. Correct. 100, 100 years and the bicentennial of the War of 1812. So we thought, hey, let's encompass them all and just have a broad theme and celebrate. So that's what we're doing. Now visually, what kind of things are we about to see in the parade in terms of uh, historical representation of time periods? We've asked people to pick a, a, an era, so from the 1800s to present day. So we have almost every era represented. And here's Mary Rossiter, of course, town crier, and the parade cannot officially start without Mary ringing the bell and giving the official declaration to open the Rotary Community Day Parade. Officially opening the Rotary Community Day Parade, town crier Mary Rossiter this year with a bit of an apprentice helper to get us officially underway. <laughs> Once again, Carolyn, spectacular day in downtown Sault Ste. Marie. Look at this. We had thunderstorms this morning. I think the uh, universe just wanted to be a part of our festivities. and see these lights, there's a certain adrenaline that gets going and, and you pull over and say, uh-oh, but today it's all for fun and uh, reminds us that we're well protected and well served by the various police agencies in and around uh, Sault Ste. Marie. We have the banner carriers letting us know that this indeed is the Rotary Community Day Parade. And the banners uh, are being walked by our exchange students. We have a program of, uh, where we send out youth, uh, high school youth, out to uh, experience life abroad for a year. And you'll see the colorful jackets which have pins and all sorts of memorabilia from their experiences. They certainly look well traveled and this year the Grand Parade Marshal is none other than Jordan Nolan. Jordan sporting that uh, L.A. Kings sweater. Center for the L.A. Kings just took home the Stanley Cup. <laughs> Big high five. <laughs> Wonderful member of our community. How exciting for him. And we have Rotary Club president. Paul Kowalik and his family. And then there's Rotary North Club president. Neil McLean, highly regarded uh, community-minded citizen who has got a long history of volunteering in our community. Great guy to be with and around. Does a lot of work with Boy Scouts too and has been involved in, uh, in that leadership role with that group for, uh, for a number of years. 
Here's our rotary float, and on it we have a number of uh, past and present Easter Seal kids. We've got Katie Hugel, who was ambassador not too long ago, Tyler Van Frankenhusen, Tyler Muller, and a few others. All good uh, and uh, well-serving uh, volunteers for the Rotary cause. Well, that's where most of the money that Rotary raises, so that the community gives to Rotary, uh, goes to help support the over 80 children with physical disabilities in our community. Now, this whole Rotary Fest and the Rotary Community Day Parade is built on the shoulders of some fine, fine volunteers, and here are the co-chairs of Rotary Fest. Yes, Michael Walls uh, and Hilda Odom put in a lot of hours <laughs> and we'll be talking more about all of the folks that are working with those uh, co-chair people uh, throughout the uh, broadcast uh, of the parade. And again, the Rotary Fest uh, prize cars a successful draw and some very happy people with the results of that draw. We'll find out tonight, 11.45. But uh, this is a major fundraiser for the club. So we're very appreciative of the community. We're close to selling out the we had 16,000 tickets, and we're expecting to sell out today. So again, thank you, community, for supporting this uh, fundraising venture. All the monies go back into the community. And Rotary, with its various efforts, uh, as you mentioned, most notably the draw, but all of the activities that are going on, raises significant money for the uh, Rotary work in Sault Ste. Marie and area. We raise over two hundred and seventy thousand dollars annually to support the various beneficiaries that the, the club decides or each board decides to, uh, to uh, support. Uh, I think this year is another grand year with the 90th anniversary terrific attendance. And thank you to Brookfield for being our sponsor of this this incredible event. As I was saying earlier we had we had the, the, the skies open, it was pouring rain, we had thunder and lightning and look at it now. It was like that was all planned to help give a little sheen to uh, this glorious parade. Wash the street off uh, just in readiness for this terrific parade. Upcoming we'll see uh, uh, 1812 and you mentioned that this is parade is part of the co-celebration of the uh, 1812 bicentennial, the city's uh, centennial and throughout the parade we'll see many groups that are marking uh, anniversary years this year. Exactly, you've got the Marconi Society 100 years uh, we have the Sault Ste. Marie United Way at 55 years, Algoma Fall Festival 40 years, Sioux Symphony Orchestra 40 years, uh, the Sault Ste. Marie Senior Games of celebrating 25 years. We've got Dr. Roberta Bondar's space flight 20 years ago, uh, and the Echo Drum Festival 10 years. All of this is being brought to you by Brookfield and Shaw TV from here high atop the Trader Steel Warehouse broadcast platform. <laughs> and uh, we're happy to be here once again, uh, letting you know of all the details in the Rotary Community Day Parade. And boy, a glance down Queen Street, young and old and all kinds of people in between. Just excited to be here and basking in a wonderful day. And uh, following the parade, all kinds of continuing Rotary Fest activities. You folks in the Rotary Club, and I think I speak on behalf of all citizens of the community, have once again done an exceedingly commendable job putting all of this together and promoting it uh, as you have. Um, it's just incredible, a community that can pull together and put this kind of event on through your leadership. Congrats to you well, and the club. Thank you very much. It takes a lot of people and a lot of businesses and we get the community support to make this happen every year. So it looks like we have a uh, Marking the city's uh, 100th uh, anniversary. Speaking of the city, our thanks to the City of Sault Ste. Marie Community Services Department and the SR staff for their cooperation with Shaw TV and Rotary in making this broadcast possible. Mayor Debbie Amoroso giving us a wave. Greetings from City Council. The City of Sault Ste. Marie float with Mayor Debbie and members of City Council is decorated to reflect the city's 100th anniversary this year with a great big birthday cake and candles. Well, I can just see some of the flowers that you know, beautifully adorn Queen Street and some other aspects, uh, other areas in the Sioux. But they brought them, brought them onto the float. How wonderful! 
Management lead from City Council, Councillor Susan Myers and others have put in a lot of work coordinating the Celebrate 100 anniversary of Sault Ste. Marie. We're going to have fun, is what it's all about for the city's celebration. And uh, we see that here throughout the entire parade. Lots of people having fun participating in the parade and watching it. Boy, that's colorful. The city always does a spectacular job. They do. Ke Kelly Buller and the great crew at uh, City Public Works and Transportation. Uh, just tremendous. Thanks so much, Kelly, for all your creativity. Those sides are adorned with real flower boxes, indicative of the city's naturally gifted image. A genuine tribute to our community's Celebrate 100 year-long celebration. the Winston Piper Memorial Grand Prize for this year's 90th anniversary of the Rotary Community Day Parade. Congratulations to the City of Sault Ste. Marie and all the workers that made this possible. Here's Mayor Debbie and here's Councillor Myers. <laughs> well deserved, guys. Oh, two two thumbs up candles. from Councillor Myers on a great, great event. Great celebration. And a terrific float. Look at that. Terrific. Rotating yeah. cake. Spectacular. They are really, really creative over there. A year long, I mean, we, we do this for three days of the year. I can't even imagine uh, organizing a year long celebration. Uh, those, I know uh, Donna Irving and uh, Susan Myers have been really busy, hard at work trying to keep uh, this city celebration at the forefront. All of that was about two years in the making, plus lots of hard work during anniversary year, and I'm sure the citizens are appreciative of that. The Rotary Task Force that put all this uh, together involves a, a lot of members. We've seen the co-chairs in the parade, uh, Carolyn, but there's a number of other people that have uh, spent all kinds of volunteer hours making this happen. Oh, and they really have. Many thanks to these people. Sean Antler, who looks after the stage. Ken Dezonia, who looks after the second stage. Nathan Mudge and Lynn Hollingsworth, who look after the Miracle Mile. David Marshall, who's in charge of this parade. I love that. Marshall Marshall. <laughs> Lots of lights and sirens again with the uh, city fire services. Last years we've seen members of city council on board that very fire truck but this year members of council and staff all together on one float great combination great effort here it comes the oh, yeah. bicentennial of the war of 1812 and boy there's another group that now, has had a lot of work over this year as we said we've broken tried to organize a parade this year in eras we are now in the 1812 section of the of the eras
folks perform at History Fest at the Clerk and the Hermitinger uh, historical sites where there's all kinds of activities and displays attached to mark the uh, bicentennial of 1812. Lots of color and red coats uh, in town. <laughs> there are, these are volunteer reenactors representing British soldiers, U.S. infantry, Canadian volunteers, the 10th Royal Veterans, 49th Grenadier, the Incorporated Militia of Upper Canada Tactical, tactical Display, and Algoma 1812 volunteers. As you can see, all are historically attired. Algoma 1812 is a not-for-profit not -for -profit corporation and they're in charge of all aspects of Algoma's region bicentennial commemoration of the War of 1812. I believe some of these people were involved in paddling the uh, the freighter canoes from Sault Ste. Marie to uh, St. Joseph Island uh, earlier uh, to mark the uh, some of the celebrations that are going on uh, St. Joseph Island at uh, Richard's Landing and at uh, the Fort St. Joseph. Yes, I believe that we, the war started right from St. Joe, Fort St. Joe, where they paddled down and took over. Fort Commissioner Lamackinac. Correct. Oh, we're getting some uh, fancy Speak, displays with paddles. Sp speaking of canoe and paddles, here they are. <laughs> I, think, I think they might be finding this paddle a little easier than the one they had from Bellevue Park is where they left from and came into uh, Richard's Landing. Uh, that was about an eight to nine hour paddle for these folks. Wow. And uh, that's a lot of commitment and uh, demonstration of a lot of skill, too, to get that uh, monstrous canoe from here to there. Oh, there we are. These folks uh, spend a great amount of time and attention to detail for these costumes, uh, right down to the right kind of colors for the sashes and the details on the, button, on the buttons on the red coats. And it's ex an expensive proposition. It is. So these folks quite do the commitment. it. Yeah, they do it on their own and uh, uh, put forth the time and the effort, and uh, we, we benefit by getting a great show. Parades always provide an opportunity for uh, politicians to say hi to their constituents, and uh, here we have a couple of them. David Orizetti and Brian Hayes. And now for one of our special 100-year quotes. The Marconi year Society. They had uh, an Italian festival uh, earlier and uh, extremely well attended and a terrific event. Again, the weather smiled on them for their event and they're marking an anniversary and uh, date back to 1910. What are Italians most noted for? Delicious food, of course. I think the float sums up how Italians love to celebrate through food, drink, of course, lots of wine, music and singing. Good food, good music, good friendship. Bellissimo! They're celebrating 100 years as a benefit society for the community of Sault Ste. Marie and its residents. It's a social gathering place for everyone. Salute! The Steelton Bible Museum. Bible Chapel, actually. That's a 1914 Depot Hack Ford Model T. And they're celebrating a hundred years of their church building. I love that. <laughs> a ooga back. A lot of work in restoration and maintaining that. Another another prize winner here. Here we have the Algoma Farmers Market. Uh, first prize, human powered kinetic sculpture. Sculpture. One person dresses a farmer from 1910, pulling a cart of vegetables, of course. So, Algoma Farmers Market is a collective of local farmers who sell their delicious and fresh products. Here we have uh, Andrea Horvath, the uh, leader of the New Democratic Party in Ontario, along with Member of Provincial Parliament Michael Mantha. I had the opportunity to meet uh, Andrea in uh, Thunder Bay when I was there uh, on a Red Cross dispatch for the Thunder Bay Flux. Excellent, uh, excellent politician in person. Very friendly, very personable. We're Here's now, first non-professional prize. And we're now into 1920 era. 
got the Canadian Bush Plain Heritage Center. They're celebrating the hardworking firemen from 1920 to today and the 100th anniversary of the city of Sault Ste. Marie and its history of Bush Plane flying. On board is Chopper and Beaver, the Bush Plane mascots, who are sponsored by Eagle Feather A Aviation. Greetings to uh, Mike Delfrey. Mike Delfrey, hello. <laughs> and all of his staff at uh, Bush Plane. Fantastic community organization, and uh, if anyone's got folks coming to town, be sure they get down and visit Bush Play. I mentioned uh, earlier uh, Neil McLean, Rotary North president, and his role as a volunteer also uh, in the Scouts movement. And here's uh, Scouts Canada. And they were awarded by the Parade, uh, parade Judges second non professional. Uh, category champions in this year's 90th anniversary of the Rotary Community Day Parade, brought to you by Brookfield. We are still in the 20s. Their float shows a typical 1920s scout camp with an old-style prospector tent, cook fire, horse with travois, pack sacks, canoe, saws, and old uniforms. Scouting's been active in Sault Ste. Marie since 1901. It's co-ed, Divided into five age groups, Beavers, Cubs, Scouts, Ventures, and Rovers. And they have a lot of fun doing hiking, camping, canoeing, skiing, sports, etc. And we'll take our scout hat off to all of the leaders in that organization <laughs> that <laughs> donate and volunteer so many hours to that uh, fine organization. Singing in the rain, got to be the Sioux Symphony Orchestra, and they too, I believe, are marking an anniversary. Yes, they are. Uh, but what their float is depicting is, of course, their upcoming musical, Singing in the Rain, which started in the 20s, and so that's why they've chosen this era. They're celebrating their 40th anniversary next year. This will be their largest family-friendly event of the year. Boy, here's people we've seen year after year in the parade, the Sioux Shrine Club. In the, we're now in the 1930 era, and I believe because of the truck. Shriners, founded 1872 in America, and Shriners, of course, well known in Sault Ste. Marie for all of their work supporting children's efforts. Here's another, another special. Boy, you get a siren and you just can't <laughs> stop playing with it. This is a musical comedy guild, 50th anniversary they're celebrating, but their, their upcoming musical is 42nd Street, which of course is set in the 30s. And Elmer's been around for about 60 years, I think, and he's not showing in one year of age. Royal Canadian Legion Band is upcoming.
opportunities to play full contact football in an organized league. United Way coming up. Minor Football Association participants. They got a good, good response for their participation. Upcoming, we see a banner carried by the Sault Ste. Marie District Labor Council, the voice of organized labor in our community, made up of delegates of all unions in Sault Ste. Marie and surrounding communities. They promote uh, and advance the economic state of the community and social justice for workers and families. Banner carriers are uh, Dakota Matthew and Zach Rote Perk. And they are just in front of another group having an <laughs> anniversary, the United Way of Sault Ste. Marie. Boy, they're rocking and rolling. Well, when you think of the 50s, you think of this kind of music, that's for sure. All their celebrity teens are in the 50s are gathering together to celebrate the birthday of United Way and the city of Sault Ste. Marie. into the uh, 60s with the Sioux College Peace Conflict Studies Program. The students from the Peace and Conflict Studies Program will be walking in the parade with the Rotary College Peace is Possible Banner. This unique program in its third year integrates a holistic approach to responding to local and global issues. As their banner says, peace is possible. That's close to us Rotarians' hearts. Yes, it's part of your mantra. Phoenix Rising Women's Center and not profit not for profit housing women helping women is their <laughs> motto Phoenix Rising has a transport with trailer covered in flower power of course another 60s theme Phoenix Rising Women's Center is a warm friendly place helping women in need to get back on their feet again it's been said many times about the 60s. If you remember the 60s, you weren't there. More music in the 60s with this uh, entry from Rock and Vinyl Records and Collectibles. How appropriate, yes. They've got pictures of the Beatles, one of my favorite groups. And they sell records and music collectibles. I guess they have over 70,000 records. Really? Wow. Wow. Hand in Hand Daycare Center coming up next. Uh, they're, they've got their vehicle made to look like the train from Bellevue Park, which I guess was first put in Bellevue Park in the 60s. Okay. What a nice memory. Speaking of Bellevue Park, tomorrow we've got some equipment in Bellevue Park. We sponsored a few years back a huge renovation of the play playground equipment and what a great thing it is. One more thing that Rotary does in our community. Thank you to the support though of all the, the community members. Municipal waste uh, truck just uh, rolled by. Give us all a call and just one haul we can do it all. Keeping the community clean since 1998. You're an important part of our an important part of our festival. I guess that's a 1968 Mercury Cougar. I knew that. I knew people who maybe owned that originally. Great car show too, part of Rotary Fest. Congratulations 
to all those people involved in that. Now we have Log City Dairies, who is uh, sporting a old milk truck from the 60s. used to deliver milk door to door. Right behind them, Algoma University. They're representing a pop-up card to celebrate the 100th birthday of the city and the origins of Algoma University in 1964. They were founded as an affiliated college of Laurentian University. They came independent, degree-granting institution in 2008. A lot of spirit on that float. Boy, is there. The Coalition for Algoma Passenger Train is a hard-working group with a good cause. It's been doing a lot of good things in our community for a number of years now. They're a not-for-profit organization of individuals, municipalities, First Nations, business and other stakeholders who recognize the significant social, economic, cultural, historical, and environmental value of Northern Ontario passenger trains. You're watching the 90th anniversary Rotary Community Day Parade brought to you by Brookfield on Shaw TV. Good opportunity to mention a couple more names of all of the volunteering Rotarians who have made this possible. Art Wilhelm, who looks after all of the grounds. Scott Kennedy, who's in charge of the Wheels on the Water Car Show. David Saunder, who's David Saunders, who's in charge of the food court. All the good stuff that's coming out of there. Here's Camp McDougal in business, providing and making fun since 1960. Again, we're still in the 60s. They've been running summer programs. They offer residential week-long camps for kids aged 6 to 15. Love the spirit. Arch is celebrating life with this 70s inspired disco style entry. Hair for Hospice has five individuals who are shaving their heads to raise $10,000 for Arch and three are doing so right on the float. Arch provides quality life care to residents of Algoma District and their families. have a ladder in the back, right? I have no idea. We're on a trampoline to get on. <laughs> it's getting ready to go. I think you could float down the Batchawana with those inner tubes and those tires. Brought a nice splash of color to the parade. Good oh, for them. Tremendous. This is Jackie's Barber Styling Shop. They've been in business for 21 years. Representing the 80s, looks like. <laughs> and we all know who this is. Well, the big round chap is back. This is the only time, I think, between carnivals that he steps outside to say hi and remind the community of the Ontario Winter Carnival Bon Sioux coming up February 1st to the 10th next year. Hi, Mr. Bon Sioux. And they're celebrating 50 years next year, but they're excited that they're announcing the return of Snow Madness. Oh, excellent. Great event. I've been in that event. Lots of fun. Wow, look at this. Uh, Lakeway Tech. Uh, they're they're having a reunion. Many people will remember Lakeway Tech, of course, part of the city's high school heritage. At reunion later this year, October 20th. Got some cheerleaders coming up. Wacky Wingmobile. We're now we're getting busy. Thanks for joining us. We want to say hello to everybody.
everybody out there at home. Everybody out there at home and on the sides for joining us. It's not raining. No. We should get wacky more often. We're gonna do it right now. Let's get, let's go, Wally. Wally's getting down, he's getting busy. We're all doing it. Bible Chapel, purveyors of the theme Never Thirst Again, uh, neverthirstagain.com, their website, handing out uh, a significant amount of water uh, throughout Rotary Fest and again today on Parade Day. As they say, water is essential to life and the lifeblood of our planet. Without water, we cannot sustain life. So their ministry with its yellow trailer and yellow blue uniform helpers pass out almost 4,000 bottles of water today free of charge, just to celebrate life, both physical and spiritual. And on a day like this, hydrate, hydrate, folks. Can we say the water is going like hotcakes? Nice addition to the parade and a welcome one for many bystanders, of which there are thousands along Queen Street. Including us. Including us, yes. <laughs> we're sipping on the water. There's another great community group, the Elks uh, and Royal Purple. We're now into the present day. They're celebrating a hundred years. Seated on the float are exalted ruler Trevor Purvis and representing the ladies of Royal Purple Lodge 155, honored Royal Lady Wendy. The Elks of Canada are celebrating their 100th birthday and would like to take this opportunity to wish happy birthday to our city, Sault Ste. Marie. The Elks and Royal Purple Lodge remain very active with their oncology programs and are very involved with the Elks of Canada Fund for Children along with other local charities. I think we can hear the sounds of a very special band. Pipes and drums of the 49th Field Regiment in Sault Ste. Marie, a cornerstone of every community day parade.
uh, carry walls. And look, that bright, shiny car. <laughs> Tammy Fremlin is promoting the new soap opera on Local 2 this fall, starting with the conclusion of the Who Shot Tammy episode. In the car is Tammy, along with co-stars from that episode, Andy Martins and Ron Shinners. The new weekly soap, Tammy, premieres this October. Sounds like a lot of fun. We'll be watching for that on local2.ca. They're also the site for everything Celebrate 100, along with local news and weather. Highland Ford pulling into the parade. Lots of bubbles, lots of color, lots of glasses. <laughs> they've been open for 44 years. They're under new ownership. This is the first time they've been in our parade. And I see they have the first professional prize. They're, right, they're raising a glass to Sault Ste. Marie. And do you recognize the song? Toby Keith's Red Solo Cup. Of course. Plus the decorations. <laughs> right behind Highland Ford, Carolyn, we have the Scoots Truck and Trailer Entry. They're a green energy and alternative recreational vehicle business. Fairly new, I think they've just been open for a little over a year. They sell e-bikes, four-wheelers and more. We're actually using one of their uh, e-bikes down on the grounds to help uh, get things around. It's uh, really a wonderful addition to the festival. And we love the green energy aspect. Well. Helps promote our, uh, keeps us in line on our green initiative for the festival, trying to uh, keep everything that we can out of the landfill. And Rotary's using uh -huh. all uh, biodegradable materials this year? That's correct. And recyclable. And we have the help of Lemieux Composting to take all of that uh, after the festival to make it into good stuff for our gardens. You're watching the 90th anniversary Rotary Community Day Parade brought to you by Brookfield on Shaw TV. Uh -huh. This is a very special float coming up of one of our primary sponsors for the festival, SR Steel Algoma. See, we have another celebration theme here. As they say, you can't take the steel out of the zoo. Celebrating 100 plus years of SR Steel Algoma, 1912 to 2012. member of the SR Group, SR Steel of Loma is a fully integrated steel producer that derives its revenues primarily from manufacture and sale of hot and cold road steel products. And on the float of the reptiles, an 11 piece local band. for life each year for about 12 years and a bunch of great musicians that just enjoy the love of music and having a crowd in an audience and boy they got one today at Community Day Parade. <laughs> Jeff Arbus and a bunch of the real good folks in town. Algoma Nurse Practitioner Led Clinic. This would be a new entry. It's a newly founded nonprofit primary care clinic here in the Sioux. They have a clinical team that includes nurse practitioners, RNs, RPNs, SWs and pharmacists. Exciting new venture for the community. Another cornerstone of the community, the Sioux Family YMCA. Long history of service in Sioux St. Marie, and look at this for a colorful float. One of the oldest not for profit businesses in Canada and Sioux St. Marie. They're bringing lots of color and celebration. Celebrating birthday. That looks like a party. You've mentioned about 20 names of Rotarians and volunteers that have made this uh, event possible, but there's really 100 or so members in the club that have all rolled up their sleeves to do their part. Correct. We could not do it without, and also all the volunteers, family, co-workers, friends of Rotarians, or people who just step up, know that we need the manpower, and, and, and make their time available to us. Very thankful to everyone. I also want to just take the moment to uh, mention my two 
summer staff uh, who have been putting in a lot of effort and hopefully have learned a lot this summer. Stephanie Luciani and Caitlin Caputo. The Newman Navy League Cadet Corps is uh, stepping up here, a group of young people aged uh, 9 to 13 years old, and bringing us uh, the enthusiasm of youth, always nice to see, and a little music too. group that um, you know something about and uh, very interesting group the Sioux Accessible Sport Group and we see sledge hockey, public sledging, tell us something about this. Sioux Accessible Sports is celebrating that they are the Sioux St. Marie's first sport program coordinator for disabled persons. SASE is the first all-inclusive sports program in Ontario to become a not-for-profit business. They offer downhill skiing, water skiing, sledge hockey, swimming, wheelchair basketball, bowling, and just this past year they added Nordic skiing. We saw some sledging in an event that preceded the Community Day Parade. Yes, the Miracle Mile presented by Royal RBC Royal Bank. This is their first year to participate in, on sledges and uh, it's a long way. <coughs> Somebody else with a siren, this time it's Sioux Search and Rescue, and uh, they've been around since 1958. All volunteers, the men and women of Sioux Search and Rescue are always ready. And they're telling us about an uh, August 11th fishing uh, derby that they've got coming up. Following Sioux Search and Rescue, the Sioux St. Marie Duty Free Store, marking 25 years. They say to visit the Sioux St. Marie Duty Free Store and find out how they can save you a whole lot of money. Twenty-five years for the Duty Free Store. That catches me by surprise. They've been around quite a while. Quarter century sounds longer. <laughs> Habitat for Humanity. Working on family number seven, we see uh, on their float, Carolyn. Their theme is celebrating the growth they are and will experience in their second decade in Sault Ste. Marie. They're celebrating families, good housing, volunteers, and much more. They've been working in the Sioux since 2002 to provide safe, decent, and affordable housing to eligible low-income families. They're starting on their seventh house this summer. 90% of their work is done by volunteers. Seven houses. Very impressive. Uh, Happier, tremendous. healthier lives since 2002 in Sault Ste. Marie. We have another prize winner coming up. Wow, Hi. look at this. The Algoma District Solar Energy Group. First prize in the motorized green energy category. they got golf carts and electric and all solar run. Algoma District Solar Energy specializes in rooftop grids connected solar under the microfit project of the Ontario government. I have seen so many of these vehicles here on the ground. It's, it's wonderful that everybody's embracing this technology. Sioux Squire Police Cadets upcoming following the Algoma District Solar Energy Group. Good group of young people uh, learning some skills and some teamwork and, and providing a community service. We hope you enjoyed today's parade and I see everyone milling down to the rest of Rotary Fest and the community celebration continues.
Thanks again to uh, all of the participants from Rotary that made this possible for the community, to all of the sponsors uh, for the parade and for Rotary Fest, and to you, the viewer, for participating uh, and being a part of this community festival. A terrific uh, parade again, the 90th anniversary, uh, spectacular memories and uh, spectacular day. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, you've been watching the 90th anniversary of the Rotary Community Day Parade brought to you by Brookfield on Shaw TV. We'll see you next time. You're watching Shaw TV.